What does Conor McGregor, Elon Musk, Kylie Jenner, and Dan Bilzerian have in common? All four of these people are worth a hundred million plus. Kylie Jenner, I think, is either a billionaire or close to a billionaire now. And Elon Musk is worth multi, multi billions. All four of these people are incredible at self promoting themselves and who they are and what they do. Let's start with Connor McGregor. I'm going to briefly go through all four of these people just to kind of give you an idea of what I'm talking about here. So let's start with Mr. Connor McGregor. Why did Connor get paid more than Khabib in their fight? Anybody who watched the fight, it's very obvious that Khabib is a better fighter than Connor McGregor. In fact, if they fought probably 10 times, Connor might win once or twice out of 10 just by pure luck, maybe just getting a knockout blow. But overall, Khabib was just dominating him. So why is Connor getting paid more than Khabib? And the main reason is, is because Connor is so good at self promoting himself. He's out yelling at the mountaintop about how how much of a badass he is and how he's the best and how he's so cool and you see him in the in, in, in the interviews and what is Khabib doing? Khabib's not doing much of that at all. Khabib is training. So while Connor is out getting everyone's attention and getting everyone riled up for the fight, Khabib is in the gym training. So think about these two. Depending on what your goal is, if your goal is to make more money or maximize your earnings, then you should do what Connor does, self-promote yourself. Talk shit, like have unique things. Like he, you know, he goes around like everyone knows like this little move he has where he moves his arms. <laughs> I did a terrible uh, That's that's not a good imp impersonation of that, but uh that's what he does. Like he does his like his he has such a unique kind of character where people like him. They want to buy tickets to see Conor McGregor. People buy from who they know. So keep that in mind about all four of these people. People buy from who they know. Everyone wants to buy a ticket to see Conor McGregor fight. He's likable. They know him. He's everywhere. <laughs> you know, he's just everywhere. Everyone's heard of Conor McGregor. No, not many people, if you're not super, super into UFC, like there's not a lot of people that heard of Khabib. Conor's a lot more famous than Khabib is. Even though Khabib is a better fighter. Okay, so let's move on to Elon Musk. Elon Musk is CEO and co-founder of PayPal, SpaceX, and Tesla. The guy I think is worth like 12, 12 billion dollars or something ridiculous right now. So compare him to other CEOs that might be better, smarter than he is. But why is Musk worth 12 billion and these other guys might be worth like 10, 50 million dollars, 100 million dollars? Why is that? It's, con it's because Elon Musk is very well known. He's such a great self promoter. You'll see him in interviews everywhere. Everyone has heard of Elon Musk. Everyone. And he makes it that way. Because he knows people buy from who they know. So he makes sure that you know him, you've seen him, you've heard of him. And that's how he makes a killing. And it's in conjunction, obviously, with him being insanely smart. And I watched a documentary on him, like where he was 
reading books since he was like eight years old and he finished every single book in the entire library, his local library, like one, by the time he was like 13 or just something ridiculous. Uh, don't quote me on that exactly, but it's something along those lines. The guy is insane. Now let's talk about Kylie Jenner. So I'm not even 100% sure entirely what Kylie Jenner does, but I do know that she has one of the biggest followings on Twitter, either the biggest following on Twitter or top three or something like that. Uh, I, I read somewhere that she gets paid like $500,000 just to tweet some sort of advertisement, anything it could be. She get paid 500 grand or something like that just for one tweet, uh, which is kind of crazy to think about. So how did she, how does she make her money? So like if you ask some people, they might say, oh, it's because she has like this perfume uh, line or a clothing brand or whatever it is that she does. I'm not exactly sure, but it's not because of that because there's so many people that have perfume lines and clothing brands and whatever, but they're not, billion they're not a billionaire or close to it. So Kylie makes her money again, like the same like these three guys. She has a lot of influence and she has a huge following. She has a huge following. People know her. They want to be like her. They want to buy from people that they know and that they want to be like. You think somebody's going to purchase a perfume. Even the perfume is five times better than the one, let's say, Kylie has. But they don't know this person that created that perfume. They don't see them every day. They don't hear about it all the time. They don't get that same promotion that Kylie does with her own perfume. That other perfume, regardless if it's five, ten times better, is going to do worse off in sales, usually. Now let's talk about Mr. Dan Bilzerian. After Dan, I'm going to give you guys a quick way, a quick tip of how to gain a huge social media following. You might say like, Jack, what the hell do you know about <laughs> gaining a huge uh, social media following? You don't, you have like, uh, I think like 60 subscribers or 70 subscribers at the time of this video. So uh, I'm not, that's not my main goal is to get a huge uh, social media su uh, subscriber base, but I'm going to talk about that in a second. So Mr. Dan Bilzerian, he has, I think like 24 million uh, Instagram followers or something ridiculous. And he had money like in the process before that too. But I read an interview somewhere. Uh, I was watching an interview somewhere where Dan Bilzerian was talking about if he wanted to, just because he has 24 million Instagram followers, if he wanted to, he can make 10 to $15 million a year just on random advertisements that people contact him for. They say, Dan, you know, Wear these gym shorts, show off this brand, you know, or have, you, have the girls you're with, like wear this clothing line. And he rejects it because the guy's got so much money, he doesn't want to do advertising and things like that, but he can make 10 to $15 million a year just from his social media presence because of the influence he has and how many people know him and how many guys kind of want to emulate him and, and, and have a lifestyle like him and so, so he has so much influence on whatever he says people are going to buy. So let's talk about, so we talked about how important it is to be known and have a social media following when it comes to making money and being a self promoter. But let's talk about how do you do that? Isn't that an interesting question? How do we do that? Think about four of these people. You've got to do something unique, unlike what I'm doing right now. So what I'm doing now and what most people do on social media is they do the same as everyone else does. Things that are easily duplicatable. So for example, anybody can do what I'm doing right now as far as picking up a, a camera and kind of talking into it and then posting the video. But there's not enough difficulty or rareness in this video. So what I mean by rareness, like it, it's not a rare video. You can find a video like this somewhere else. But what's rare is, for example, Dan Bilzerian creating a social media following, like what he does, like what he posts on Instagram is rare. 
How many people do you see posting with eight half-naked girls and like 10 guns and a mansion and like a huge house? Like how many people can do that? It's very rare. Or think about Kylie Jenner. How many people are a sister of Kim Kardashian? That's a very rare thing to have. Like she's, she got lucky with that a little bit because of her sister, Kim Kardashian being so famous. And so that in itself like made her famous because it gave her an, an in and a way to be known and like for people to care who she is because her sister's a somebody. So that's a very rare thing as well. So she doesn't actually do anything that's rare. She just is rare. She's just a rare human. Dan Bilgerian does rare things. Let's talk about Connor. How many people can, first of all, be good enough to fight in the UFC? Think about how many people in the world can be good enough to fight at that level. That's already a very rare trait that he has. It's not something that he has, it's something that he built. He trained to become that way. And on top of that, he has such a charismatic personality that people like. Like I said before, he has that thing with his arms where he starts like waving around with his arms. He gets in your face. He promotes himself. He talks a lot of shit. So he's rare in that sense that he's got this personality that really stands out on top of the super rare ability to be one of the top UFC fighters in the world. And then let's go to Elon Musk. Elon Musk, like I said, he was reading so many books between the ages of like, uh, when he was, you know, in his low teens. Uh, and, then, and then as he became a teenager, he started reading, reading more and more and more and more and more books. And he made himself more and more and more and more valuable and unique. And then creating these companies that gets a lot of attention. It gets so much attention, but he thrives on the attention. He, he wants so much more attention because he understands the more attention he gets, the more people are talking about his name, the more people know him, the more sales he's going to make, the more money he's going to be worth. It's really that simple. So in recap, if you're trying to make more money, then try and be well known. Whether it's being well known from doing something that is so rare that other people can't duplicate it, or being well known from something that you might have got lucky with, let's say like Kylie Jenner, but kind of when you get lucky, you can get lucky like Kylie Jenner and still be a nobody if, if you don't kind of put yourself out there. So it's all about really putting yourself out there, screaming at the top of the mountain, yelling at everyone, not literally, but yelling at everyone and telling people like, I am like, this is how successful I am. This is who I am. This is why you should know me and kind of running with that. And that's going to be what you want to do if you want to make more money. If you want to be the best at something and it's beyond the money, do what Mr. Khabib does. Do what all these other people do that you might not have even heard of because they don't waste their time trying to get known. But rather than trying to be known, these people are training in their craft. They're studying every single day. They're getting better. They're reading books. They're going to seminars. They're surrounding themselves with like-minded people. These people are just heavily focused on the craft. These are people like Khabib that are going to be the best in their craft. They're going to be the best in their field. But they're going to probably lack the self promotion and, and probably not going to make as much money as these other four people that I talked about. But both of these things have a lot of merit. 
whether you're the person that goes the self-promoting route and goes the route where you're trying everything in your power to get more well-known and do things that are worth uh, people's attention and, and, and makes them want to follow you. Or you're going the Khabib route and you're training every single day and you don't care about who knows you or how much attention you get or the significance. You're just in the office, in your house, in grind mode, just zoned in, quietly making a killing. That's also a great route. Those two routes are excellent. Choose one of those two. Choose one of those two to be. Because uh, you can't go wrong with any of those two routes. But if you choose a third route, which is like something like being a nobody and doing nothing and like just watching Netflix all day, then I guess that's an option as well. But that's up to you if you want to choose that one. We all get to choose who we want to become in our lives. I truly believe that, that we all get to choose who we want to become in our lives and what we want to do with our lives and what we want to make of our lives. And your actions every single day will be a reflection of that. So just, just think about that. Think about your daily habits. Think about who you want to become. Think about what's more and most important to you and act and implement those things into your life every single day.